Oh, that sounds really awesome, Al. Thank you. Hello, everyone. How's everybody doing? Welcome aboard the World Famous Universal Studios Tour. My name is Helen. I'll be your tour guide. Before we get started, I want to make sure everybody has a pair of 3D glasses. If you don't have a pair, if you don't have a pair, just wave a hand in the air like you don't care so we can get you a pair. And if you are traveling with small children, whose feet can like reach the floor, please move them towards the center of the rows, away from the outside gates. It's going to get really bumpy on the floor. And the gates are coming down, so just wash your arms and legs, toes, fingers. You don't want to get pinched. Universal Studios is the largest and busiest movie and television studios in the world. That's always a lot happening, so have your cameras ready because you never know who or what you're going to see. So I'm ready, our driver Ying is ready, the trip is good to go. And I have one more person to introduce you guys to. Here to help us get started is my co-host for the tour and the host of The Tonight Show and that's my GM, my MC, Mr. Jimmy Allen.
So uh, the doors are open. You guys can take a peek inside. Uh, usually anywhere from 80% to 90% of filming is done inside a sound stage because they offer a completely controlled environment allowing us to film anytime, day or night. Uh, inside of a sound stage, we can create any kind of setting the story demands. Season 3 of Bel Air uses one more sound page. That is sound page 14, uh, which you guys will see very soon. Right now, on the left side, I can see the base cam for Bel Air. A base cam is basically the home base of a production with actors, trailers, wardrobe, dressing rooms, and makeup trailers, catering, health and safety check area. So everything is mobile if the production leaves to film at a different location. They can do so quickly. And right now you can see Sound Age 14 Bel Air films inside this Sound Age as well. Universal Studios is a movie and television studios. Our television history goes back 85 years. Uh, since the launch of our streaming platform Peacock in 2020, our television landscape continues to expand. Uh, speaking of Peacock, the Academy Award winning Best Picture Oppenheimer is now showing on Peacock. Uh, we also have a new show showing on Peacock right now. You probably have seen it already. It is Ted. Hi everyone, Seth McFarland here, and I'm excited to share with you a behind-the-scenes look at my Peacock original event series, TED. It's a prequel series set in 1993, and that means our skilled craftspeople had to build a high school, a house, and even recreate downtown Boston with a look back in the day using the exterior sets and facades you're about to see on the tour. But I should warn you, TED is intended for mature audiences only. So grown-ups, tell the kids to go in the other room before you watch. Oh, come on! He is so cute. I would love to meet him. And what a surprise he's here. He's coming up on the left-hand side. He's so cute. Say hi, take pictures, get his autograph. Hello, Ted. How's it going? Uh, the writers, producers, and directors come together to develop new ideas and get scripts into shape. A long time ago, these bungalows were dressing rooms for A-list stars. Now they house production offices for movies and TV shows. Uh, some really high-profile companies are right here. Uh, Mark Platt's Productions is here, which produced the Wicked musical. Uh, the film version of Wicked has been in development since 2004 and has since cast Cynthia Rebo and Ariana Grande in the two lead roles. Coming up on the left hand side, you see one of the most iconic bungalows on the lot. That is Bungalow 5195. It belonged to the incomparable Alfred Hitchcock, who directed such legendary work as The Birds, Psycho, and Vertigo. Bungalow 5195, one of the most iconic bungalows on the lot, right here. Now coming up on your left hand side, you'll see sound pages 25 and 26. These are our newer sound pages. Lopez versus Lopez, starring George Lopez and his real life daughter, Milo Lopez, is using sound page 25. We are about done with the front line. We're taking you to the back line, where the world is just around the corner. We film the big stuff out here, exterior scenes on a grand scale. Uh, this area behind the city skyline is our metropolitan area. So this area is closed today because Bel Air is actually filming in this area right now. Uh, because of that, we actually have a quiet zone coming up. Uh, when we get closer to their from a location, you see this graphic on your screen. So this is for me, not for you. When you see this, you're welcome. You're welcome to talk amongst yourself. Uh, you can take as many pictures as you like, but I can't use my microphone. So we do have a quiet zone coming up very soon. Uh, this is that is currently filming inside. Um, well, who do you see? Oh, oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> You guys can say hi, I guess. Hello, take pictures. Oh, so you guys are so lucky. Oh, he's such. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. So, uh, the metro sets are coming up. Um, 
you know, we do have time. I'm going to play this clip from Bellier. <laughs> You can use gummy water when you can. Well, so what is you put egg on, on the cheese? You put cheese on the eggs, on the cheese, and it's right. Whoa, let me see something else. Oh, no, it's gotta be a lot. Yeah, we could probably fit the whole Bel Air cast and crew in there. You know, we gotta get one of these for the mansion. Oh, <laughs> for sure. Yo, lucky for y'all, the Banks family mansion lives right here on the Universal lot. Right. Some of Bel Air's most pivotal scenes have been filmed right here. Jabari, what have been your most memorable moments? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's so many to choose from. You know, I'll run before your set where Will first enters, and at that moment, his life changes forever. What about you? Well, oh, the Bel Air Academy gym set is here, too, and I remember you having to sit in that cold ice bath for hours. Yeah, 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 and that was really fun. <laughs> oh, I still can't feel my toes. <laughs> no, but seriously, my favorite part of this lot is the talented crew who put it all together from hair, wardrobe, makeup, set design, props, and transportation. Transpo, yes. Yo, Transpo is the best. And yeah, they have the sweetest rides for us to play with. Actually, speaking of, if we're going to get a ride like this, we better go talk to Transpo now and let these people get back to their tour. Yeah, yeah that's all it's going to be. Yeah. As long as I can drive. Oh, not if I've got the keys. Oh, not fun. Oh, man. Well, thank you, Jabari. Thank you, Oli. They are great actors. Uh, this is where a lot of actors come to work every day. This is where they work, right here on the lot. Inside Sound Pages, outside Sound Pages.
Mallorca, please hold on to that because we'll be the leader on the tour. The Nakano was projected on some of the largest 3D digital screens, standing at 40 feet tall, 150 feet wide, and utilizes some of the most advanced technology in filmmaking today. So, um, that's why I'm going to set for soon, and this time we do have a quiet zone, so I'm going to stop talking. I'll see you guys when I can talk later. Again, this is for Valier. They are filming inside natural sets, which are coming up on the left. <laughs> Peaceful right now. It's really pretty. It's so scenic. This location is great. And um, take some pictures. This is my stop right here. <laughs>
houses here on the snake street are at least semi-practical let me show you around the neighborhood now welcome to colonial street so let's start with this really pretty lilac house coming up on the left this really pretty light purple one you'll see it in the 1960s it was 1313 Mount Kimber Lane in the Monster series the yellow house right next to it uh, take a mental picture of this yellow house in the 70s the Hardy Boys lived in this yellow house and then Susan Delvino played by Terry Hatcher from Desperate Housewives moved into the same yellow house uh, more recently the same yellow house again can be seen in Netflix Never Have I Ever that is Davy's home on a show so if you watch the show you know that Davy lives in Shumos, California so Kelongo Street became Sherman Oaks, California all of the homes here can be found at least partially inside. Some of them are now complete with upstairs, downstairs, kitchens, and bedrooms. The houses on the other side of the street can be seen in productions, such as The Burps with Tom Hanks, the TV series Providence, ABC's Desperate Housewives, the Amazon Prime movie Kenny K. Lane starring Eddie Murphy and Tracy Ellis Ross. So I'm going to point out this light blue house coming up on your left. You can see this light blue house on your left. You can also see it on your screen. You can see this house in Ted. Let the festivities begin. How many we got? Well, let's see. We got 20 cottons. Fantastic. Do you think we're getting too old for this? Oh, come on, Johnny. We're doing a public service here. If a kid leaves the house in a less than stellar Halloween costume, he's got to get the bad news before he makes a fool of himself all over town. We're Samaritans. From Colonial Street to Lion Estate on the left-hand side, uh, you may remember that the Lion Estates was where Mark McFly lived in the Back to the Future trilogy, lived in the home of tomorrow, today. Let's see what this neighborhood looks like in these other productions. This is a really beautiful neighborhood. You can see Tom Hanks up there. That's Christina Ricci from Casper. We have been to the throw nearly 400 acres of the studios and show you some pretty amazing from locations. I know right now it looks like we are in the middle of nowhere, but sometimes that's just the point, especially when a production asks for a remote location. This part of the lot allows filmmakers to capture the remote areas without leaving the property. At the Fox series 911 starring Angela Bassett filmed car crash sequences right here on our wilderness road. Uh, we are 15 minutes away from returning to the theme park. And uh, just a quick reminder, if you drop your phone, just can't wait to use the restroom. Uh, pull the red cord to get my attention, but stay seated. All right, so this area, uh, what you are seeing is a sneak peek of more of our 60th anniversary celebration. Uh, we hope you will come back and join us. Uh, join us for it uh, this spring and summer. So right now everything is still under construction. This is just a sneak peek. In front of us is our official scale replica of LA's most iconic landmark, the Hollywood sign. Uh, while we are celebrating our 60th, uh, the Hollywood sign has been commemorating its centennial year. On the hill to the right is one of the most iconic sets in Hollywood, the Psycho House from the movie Psycho, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. On the right hand side right there, I see Norman right there. He's, he's here. He's so scary. He's so creepy. And he's here in the shadow. I almost didn't see him. And uh, the cabin coming up on your left um, was home to John Candy, Dan Aykroyd, and Anna Benning for their film, The Great Outdoors. So again, everything is just under construction, is still under construction, so this is just a sneak peek of what's coming up uh, later uh, this month. Uh, Universal has been fortunate to work with generation-defining directors like Alfred Hitchcock and Steven Spielberg. Now, we're thrilled to partner with Academy Award winner Jordan Peele. In just a moment, we'll be taking you to 
YouTubers claim the actual sets from his sci-fi thriller Nope, which stars Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, and Stephen Yen. Guess what? Here is Mr. Jordan Peele himself. Movie magic only happens when a team of collaborators, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible notion and bring it to life. This is Jupiter's Climate, a nostalgic, small-time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Juke Park. Over there, look into the Winkin' Mountain and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sharon. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Glad you a little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so live anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town lies a sinister secret. a bad miracle? You're about to find out. Welcome to the world of you. Fast and furious, supercharged. We need everybody to be the actors in the scene, so this is to set up. One of you is an undercover witness and
Okay, guys, it's showtime. Tom, come to the left. This thing ain't moving fast enough. Run, ready, hook him up. Thank you. 